LeBron James has been one of the most successful athletes in the world and one of the leading National Basketball Association or NBA players to turn his high earnings into savvy business deals and significant investments. As an athlete at the forefront, he hasn't been doing endorsement deals and brand affiliation, but acquiring equity in businesses and trying to grow them by himself. In June 2022, Forbes published an article about the famous LeBron James, disclosing that he's become one of the first active NBA players to make their list. Although we are mainly accustomed to LeBron breaking records on the basketball court, this one is a bit different, but nothing short of his numerous successes. LeBron recently hit a new milestone as the first active player to become a billionaire. LeBron James began his professional career with the Cleveland Cavaliers, who selected him in 2003 as the first overall pick in the draft. In his first year, he started fulfilling his potential by averaging 27.2 points, 7.4 rebounds, 7.2 assists, and 2.2 steals per game, and being named the Rookie of the Year. He played in Cleveland for the first seven years of his career, during which he grew into one of the best players in the NBA and won the Most Valuable Player Award twice, in 2009 and 10. In 2007, he went to the finals with a Cavaliers team for the first time, but they lost to the experienced San Antonio. Antonio Spurs 4 to 0. In 2011, he moved to the Miami Heat as a free agent, forming the first modern super team with Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh. Arguably the best player in the league during those years, James won the MVP award two more times in 2012 and 13 and advanced to the NBA Finals four times in a row. In 2012, he won the first championship, beating the Oklahoma City Thunder 4 to 1, and had the same success a year later against his old adversaries, the San Antonio Antonio Spurs 4 to 3. In 2008 and 2012, LeBron won gold medals playing for the US Olympic men's basketball team, after which he withdrew from the national team. After an unsuccessful attempt to win a third consecutive title, he left Miami in 2014 and returned to Cleveland. During his second stint with the Cavaliers, for which he played four seasons this time, he made it to the finals in all four years. On all four occasions, the other side waiting were the mighty gold. Golden State Warriors. In 2016, playing against perhaps the best regular season team ever, the Warriors broke the record with a season score of 73-9. LeBron secured his third title, the Cavaliers coming back from 3-1 down, which no team had ever accomplished in the finals until that point. During the last four years from 2018, he's been a part of the Los Angeles Lakers, with which he won his last title in 2020. Throughout his career, which has yet to come to an end, LeBron has been one of the best all-round players, probably the best all-round player in the history of the game, as evidenced their averages of 27.1 points, 7.5 rebounds, 7.4 assists, 1.6 steals, and 0.8 blocks per game over 19 seasons. Since 2005, when he was selected to the All-Star team for the first time, he has made the team every single year. Since 2005, which was only his second year in the league, was also a year when he was selected to the All-NBA First Team, and since then has yet to fail in making one of the three All-NBA teams. While he was in full force, he was also one of the best and most versatile defenders in the league and was named to one of two All-Defense teams six times from 2009 to 2013 and was named to one of two all-defense teams six times from 2009 to 2013, five times to the first and once to the second team. Despite passing being his strong suit, LeBron has scored 37,062 points and is currently second on the all-time points list. If he continues to play and doesn't get injured in the next two years, he'll become the player with the most points, surpassing Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, who is currently first with 38,387 points. In August 2021, Forbes, which ranks the wealth of celebrities, athletes, and business people, revealed that the 37-year-old superstar was approaching the $1 billion milestone. At the time, LeBron passed the $1 billion in earnings threshold. Therefore, Forbes writers considered it an excellent opportunity to estimate how much of his earnings translated into his net worth. In 2021, it was estimated at $850 million. 
Michael Jordan was the only other NBA player to find a spot on the Forbes list. However, he hit the 10 figures mark in 2014, more than a decade after he retired from the sport, largely thanks to his contract with Nike and successful investment in the Charlotte Hornets basketball team. Interestingly, in his 2014 interview with GQ, LeBron talked about his business. It's my biggest milestone, so obviously I want to maximize my business. And if I happen to get it, if I happen to be a billion dollar athlete, ho, oh, hip hip hooray, oh my god, I'm gonna be excited. And that is precisely what he's done, successfully maximize. And that is precisely what he's done, successfully maximize and improve his business, coming on top with a mind-boggling $1.2 billion in pre-tax earnings. It would seem that success and innovative ideas have followed the superstar on and off the basketball court, as he received more than $385 million in salary from the Cleveland Cavaliers, Miami Heat, and Los Angeles Lakers. In addition, he has reeled in more than $900 million in income from various business endeavors and investments. Anyone who has followed LeBron and his awe-inspiring career knows that he didn't make his fortune overnight. His impressive Impressive net worth results from a continuous and well-timed series of investments and business decisions. In 2003, 18-year-old LeBron signed his first contract with Nike after rejecting deals from Reebok and Adidas, believing that Nike offered a better partnership on a long-term basis. In 2017, in an episode of Kneading Dough, he explained the rationale behind his decision, saying, I started thinking, if then Reebok CEO Paul Fireman is willing to give me a $10 million check right now, what is to say that Nike or Adidas isn't willing to give me 20 or 30 upfront? Maybe the upfront money is not even the biggest thing. Maybe let's start thinking about the back end. This would prove to be a good decision on his part. The four-time MVP initially garnered a seven-year contract with a brand worth $90 million. Then, after a decade of successful business, in 2015, Nike gave him a lifetime agreement, paying him millions annually. One of his secrets to becoming a billionaire was applying the correct method and approaching the business deals as long-term partnerships rather than as a quick cash-out. His highly lucrative contract with Nike is just a drop in the ocean compared to his numerous other deals, including 2K Sports, Ramoa, Coca-Cola, and Mountain Dew and Wheaties. According to Forbes, LeBron racked up over $60 million in endorsement deals, earning the status as one of the highest paid athletes when it comes to endorsements and affiliations, as many other billionaires well demonstrate. A fortune of this size rarely comes from only one income stream. Dream. In addition to his numerous endorsements, it's evident that LeBron has an eye for business, including transforming underground brands into multi-million dollar chains. An example of his savvy business skills and other level of thinking, LeBron was sponsored by McDonald's for years, but in 2015, he chose to forego his $15 million deal with the brand. Instead, he opted to gamble and take investment stakes in a relatively unknown chain Blaze Pizza. However, as a true businessman, he did more than just invest. LeBron used his image and reach to promote the brand by working behind the counter and handing out free pies on the street. As a result, the brand has grown to over 300 company-owned stores in the US and Canada. According to the statement of his business partner, they invested less than $1 million into 10% of Blaze Pizza, and over four years, LeBron's stake in the chain jumped to $30 million. Blaze Pizza is not the only brand LeBron has taken equity in. He also owns shares of smart gym maker Tonal and rideshare giant Lyft. Probably one of his most successful endeavors is Spring Hill, the TV and movie production company. In 2015, LeBron and his longtime partner and businessman founded Spring Hill Company, which encompasses Spring Hill Entertainment, the platform Uninterrupted, and brand consultancy and marketing agency Robot. The company's name is derived from a housing development where he lived with his mom and found stability for the first time. Initially, it was a production company that LeBron set up to hold his rights for the production of the documentary about his high school basketball playing entitled More Than a Game. 
Over time, it blossomed and began encompassing other projects produced under the auspices of Spring Hill, such as Space Jam A New Legacy, which grossed over $163 million, and the widely regarded HBO documentary What's My Name, Muhammad Ali. Spring Hill became diversified and directed by LeBron's philosophy of sharing untold stories focused on the black experience. The company has several upcoming projects in collaboration with Disney, Universal Pictures, and Netflix. In October 2021, Spring Hill sold a minority stake to a consortium led by Jerry Cardinale's sports-focused Redbird Capital. According to reports, the contract valued the company at a whopping $725 million, and it's believed that the company's revenue will top $100 million in 2022. As expected, most of these finances would go into further development of the company. Talking to a media outlet, Jerry explained why he invested in LeBron's company, saying, What I really like is that we are backing two people, individually and collectively, are pretty unique in the crossroads of sports and culture, and their ability to be catalysts for advancement, empowerment, and diversity. According to Forbes, LeBron is the biggest holder, although his shares do not exceed 50%. LeBron also owns a stake in Fenway Sports Group, the parent company of the Boston Red Sox baseball team, English soccer team Liverpool FC, and Pittsburgh Penguins hockey team. It's believed that his stake in Fenway is worth approximately $60 million. Similar to any other celebrity, LeBron enjoys buying various real estate property and has a long list of luxury complexes that he's purchased over the course of his career in Ohio, Florida, and California, valued around $100 million. His mansion in Los Angeles, dubbed the Masterpiece of Light and Design, is a jaw-dropping architectural estate valued at $52 million. Some of its numerous conveniences include 8 bedrooms, 11 bathrooms, marble countertops and walls, natural French oak floors, a theater room, wine cellar, cigar lounge, and many other items. His complex in his hometown Ohio, which he bought in 2013 for $2.1 million, is now valued at over $10 million. Since purchasing the enormous 30,000 square feet mansion, LeBron upgraded, remodeled, and expanded the estate. In addition, the luxurious property has a recording studio, movie theater, and bowling alley. It is believed that LeBron has over $300 million in cash accounts and other investments that are not that easy to track. According to Forbes, nearly half of his billion dollars is in net assets that aren't listed, including shares of the fitness company Beachbody, which LeBron founded with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Furthermore, LeBron has some shares in Beats by Dre, which was sold to Apple in 2014 for $3 billion. LeBron's life story of breaking records and stereotypes and becoming the first active sports billionaire is definitely a motivation to many children and teenagers who dream of a attaining status as a one-of-a-kind athlete like LeBron. His rags-to-riches saga proves that continuity, persistence, and determination always pay off. And if you have LeBron's intelligence, only the sky is the limit. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.